and welcome to today's episode of Young and Invested by Enterprise Trustees. So today the topic for discussion is winning with side hustles. I'm sure you have that good business idea, that very brilliant business idea that you want to implement, but you're working a nine to five job or you are a student and you're wondering how can you manage this idea or this business with your nine to five or being a student. So today we have on the panel some beautiful young men and women. I'm also a man, so young men and women and we have some experts over here, people who have been doing it since campus, since they were students, and they are still doing it now and making a lot of money. So we are going to discuss um, some few tips that will help you manage this business and your normal nine to five or being a student with your books as well. So I'm David and I'm doing this with... Benes. Sam. Behelmina. Okay, yes. So we definitely cannot start the session without explaining the keyword side hustle. So when we say side hustle, what does side hustle mean? Okay, so as the word explains itself, side hustle, any form of work or any project undertaken on the side, okay. um, in addition to one's full-time job or um, primary source of income. And then in the case of a student, um, anything, any income generating project that a student okay. undertake in addition to his or her academic responsibilities, that is what I would call a side, side hustle. hustle. Um, so a side hustle, I mean, in this day and age would mm -hmm. be something that you pick up yeah. to keep yourself and your finances afloat. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think in the past, maybe a few 50 years ago, there wouldn't probably be that term side hustle <laughs> because things were different. Yeah, uh, but let's see, now it's a thing. So yeah. it's yeah. something you do to keep yourself <laughs> and your spirits alive. <laughs> alive. That's true. Yeah, the spirit. Yeah, so. <laughs> Looking at our economy, side hustle is very, very essential because you can't go without your regular night five job. You need that mm -hmm. side hustle to give you that additional income to keep you moving. Yeah. yeah. So side hustle is very important. Yeah, that is true. So side hustle, to me, I would define it as something that you are doing extra to earn something. You are, you are yeah. trying to do, maybe you are selling something or right. you are designing or something. Mm -hmm. That is different from your nine to five job. So that is how, how I would define <laughs> side, side hustle, sorry. So also, um, do you think um, everyone who is into side hustles is an entrepreneur? Would you say that person is an entrepreneur or the person is just hustling? That's all. Mm -hmm. So, it, this sort of ties into a question I was just about to ask you even mm -hmm. before your question came, which is, <laughs> we, we kept mentioning the nine to five and then yeah. the side hustle being the side of that. Yeah. Do you have to have a nine to five to have a side hustle? Uh, it depends. So if I am working a nine to five, anything I'm doing extra, I would say is a side hustle. But maybe, maybe someone too would have a side hustle as the main business or something. Yeah. So your side hustle can be a side hustle to your side hustle. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I don't think you necessarily have to be doing a nine to five. Mm -hmm. But I think the general idea, everybody knows say, as if you have a nine mm -hmm. to five and then you're doing something on the side, yeah. then it's a side hustle. A side hustle. You Definitely. can have a business. Actually, um, not all business owners are like entrepreneurs or like they own a business because mm. if you own a business and you spend your whole day in the business it's more like you are employed you are not like you've you've you have another form of employment you get it yes so and then another thing is that um people can invest and then they earn dividends on it and that can be another form of side hustle so you don't necessarily have to be doing something um like actively, it could, it could just be like a passive source of income, wow. which could be considered as a side hustle. Oh, so right now, an investor is a side hustle? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I didn't know about that. So, okay, so, me, the, the, you key, the key word there is probably passive source of income. For yeah. Passive so, source yeah. of income. So, yeah. okay, so if you're investing and you're getting something from it, it's also a side hustle. Yeah, yeah so okay. you, can, um, you can be doing, um, you can have a nine to five and then you can be investing in businesses. That's a side hustle. Some people yeah. actively do that. They just buy businesses and sell or they put their money in something. Even though mm -hmm. they are not the one running the business, they are yeah. earning something from it that's and it's true. a side hustle. Yeah, that's, yeah. True. that's true. Okay. So I mean, I like to play the devil's advocate <laughs> a lot. So if we are talking about passive incomes mm -hmm. and I snake somebody's thing and I sell it and I get passive income, is it a side hustle? You said uh. you would? <laughs> 
If I take what doesn't Someone belong to you. Yes. <laughs> you need like extra money. Something Your phone. Oh. It might. <laughs> <laughs> It can be considered as a side hustle, but illegal side hustle. Yeah, <laughs> when you are caught, let's that will be over. Yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> not digress. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so it's illegal, but it's still a side hustle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think we should get into the next question. Okay. Why should we concern ourselves with side hustle? Why should anybody be interested in taking a side hustle? Yeah. Looking at the current economy, child, that's all we know the real truth. So <laughs> you mm. definitely have to do something. Do you get it? You definitely, yeah. have, especially let's say, um, you are earning five k. And let's say you have a wife and you have kids. Charlie, you know, go rich. I don't know yeah. the kind of budget you are using if you're not doing inside that. So, but yeah, I, I believe looking at the current economy and, and the way everything is inflating, I think we need to. We need to get a side hustle. We need to get this extra business that we can do. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think aside the additional income, here comes the skill development. Mm -hmm. So the things you, you have... Uh, on board you can do to earn the income. Okay. So aside your regular job, or even if this ha uh, side hustle happens to be your nine to five job, mm -hmm. what exactly are you doing about it? How are you going to implement it? I think sometimes the steps we take in this um, business is also is very important, is yeah. key. So mm -hmm. the skill development also Thank really you. calls. Um, so um, talking about skill development, I was going to mention that mm -hmm. um, when you have a side hustle, you get to learn a lot of skills that you can transfer into your major work. For example, communication. Mm -hmm. you, if you are selling something, mm -hmm. you learn how to communicate with people and in your job, you can apply that. For instance, I work as a research assistant at Noguchi, and then sometimes you are required to do field work where, I mean, you go to hospitals to talk to people and all that. And if you're already doing something like um, sales or, um, yes, yes, whatever it is, when you go to the field, I'm able to like communicate with the people, get yes, them to do things because you need to talk to these research um, participants that you need them to do something for you. But mm -hmm. you have to like kind of convince them that why, why do they have to um, join your research? So mm -hmm. having a side hustle will help you. And then um, productivity, you get to learn how to manage your time because mind you, you're having a full-time job and then you're doing this on the side. So it mm -hmm. means that you really have to know how to manage your time. Your time and in yeah. doing that, you are learning all these skills. You are being learning confidence. All these skills you can transfer into your work or in any other thing that you're doing. So That's it's true. very important. The self-development too. Yeah. I think it's it's key um, to have multiple streams of income mm. um, in this world that we live in now. Having a single stream of income most likely is not the is the best not the best thing for you to have. So even as a student, a worker, whatever you do, I mean, it's it makes sense to have a another stream of income or even best multiple, not just another. So I think that's why it's important for us to have to us. have side hustles okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. i think it also gives you the chance to pursue your passion yes yeah because we have a lot at hand as human yes. so without okay. these uh, side hustles i guess we wouldn't be able to do much so yeah. okay. it's really relevant it gives you that chance yes. yeah that's, that's right. very true speaking about passions so for instance i love to like teach people and all that mm -hmm. um but that is not what i mainly doing now so um Online, I'm teaching people how to do skincare and all that. I cannot do that at my workplace, mm -hmm. but because of the idea of side hustles, um, after work, I'm able to make some time and create content and then share with people. So doing that helps me, you know, um, undertake that project or undertake that passion that that's I true. want to wow. do. Yeah. Okay, that's true. Yes. All right. So. And Yes. Yes. Are yes. You, okay. So I think what, another thing is that um, having a side hustle will help you reach your financial goals faster. Like David was saying, if, for instance, you have a goal that each month you want to make 10,000 CDs and then you're currently earning 5K or 6K, mm -hmm. then now you need to ask yourself, how am I going to get In to that, that goal? Yeah. So then now you have to start thinking of things that you can do. Maybe you can start selling this which will bring you, you, you 2k a month and then that adds up to it maybe i can go here do this do this gig and then i get that so it helps you reach your financial goals faster and it's also a form of financial security because 
just recently we saw how um, Facebook, Google, you know, all these big big tech companies, they were just laying off um, their workers. Yeah. So when you get laid off and you have nothing to fall back on, that becomes a problem, especially when you have not saved enough to cater for you for the next few years mm -hmm. so if you have a side hustle then now you can take it up because i i mean when you go to when you're on the internet you can find a lot of people who got laid off and then they mm -hmm. decided to take their side hustle seriously. seriously and now they're making so much so i really think that if you have a nine to five every if you should have a side hustle so that in in future, if there is any case of you being laid off or you know your salary being cut down, you can have something to yeah, fall back on. You can on. go to HR yeah. office <laughs> and demand for an increment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, yeah. so I mean, in 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 proceeding, uh, David mm -hmm. mentioned something interesting. Five k people earning five k. You also mentioned people yeah. earning ten k. Yeah. 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 Interesting. People end that much. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I mean, th what I would ask my question would be. Um, can every can anybody at all start a side hustle? Yes. Anybody at Anyone all? Anyone at all mm -hmm. can start side hustle. If you have the skill, the passion, just go for it because it doesn't. It, it, side hustle is that type that doesn't require any huge investment. Okay. Anyone at all can start. Before you know, yeah, you are there. Because I I was there once. Mm -hmm. I started this from, way back on campus. Uh, I used to do um, more like storage meals, food and um, stew and soups wow. for my, my, my meter then. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here I am today doing a whole lot, providing Shazui, 16 Shazui. services wow. and that easy grab GH. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to travel this far. Okay. So you just have to get started. You don't need any huge mm -hmm. investments or anything of that. So you just have to start with the little you have at hand and then before you know it, you are good to go. Just so just it. anyone at all can start a side hustle. Some of us, we don't really have a, a nine to five job because we have to quit along the line yeah. and focus on our job. Yeah, so Easy Grab so. now is my yeah. nine to five. Yeah. And aside that, I'll call another job a side hustle. So oh. it's just yeah. more like multitasking in a day. Yeah. So yeah. So you you into Sorry, food and yeah. I'm I'm into food, event catering, surprise planning, decor, oh, okay. Okay. cakes. Did you start with one grain of rice. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I started um, after campus 2021, um, I already did my national service. So okay. I was into the nine to five job, but okay. I got to okay. a time. I I saw the need why I I have to push my brand forward. So I had to rebrand, mm. give it a different name. First, I was focusing more on food only. So it was second mm. home foods. So later I had to rebrand to Easy Grab GH, whereby I bring in other services, okay? okay. Yeah. So I saw the need where I have to do more, you know? A lot, yeah, yes, a lot yes, at uh, hand, yeah. Yes, yes, it's passion, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so the passion. <laughs> so the passion, yes. So currently yeah. my nine to five job is Easy mm -hmm. Grab. And then I have a side hustle I do oh, okay. aside. Yeah. So yes. I guess that answers your question because yes. Easy mm -hmm. Grab is her it's her business. My business. But then she has another side hustle. hustle. Yeah, yeah, because my source of income shouldn't just be one, one. side yeah. because Multiple it can go down anytime. And you mm -hmm. need to push in more. You know, one thing about building a brand, you get to that point where you have to go more, yeah. do more, do produce more, more your production, yeah. your employees. So you need more cash yeah of course yeah, they so said nobody became a billionaire just having well, one job I, so, I mean even the big tech companies it's not just google google has several yeah. subsidiaries, subsidiaries so, YouTube yeah. That's so the petty okay. petty things you think you have the passion for mm -hmm. i think there's a need where you have to put in more effort by the time you realize that can be something big and that 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 passion that small business you might not think yeah. will change your life, could end up changing everything and That's even so give true. you more income at the end right. of the month than your regular 95 job. Yeah, you're saying more income. Yeah, <laughs> yeah more income. Because <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> yeah, you know, money is one thing that gingers, it gives you that yeah. you, that vibe. So, so it means some, you're five and ten k you know, forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, so it's it's very important. It. Yes, let's if, talk the hand Even yes. if you don't have to give it your all, Mm -hmm. Just try something aside your regular job. Yeah, Just yes. try something. Way back when I was working as a controller, my boss would be like, Me now, up is kadudo. I collect it. So, why? Why do you need so much money? I'd be like, Boss, you know, we are growing. 
you yeah, know, you have yeah, to get yeah. that money. Yeah. So it's very, very important. There's side okay. hustle. I think everyone should start. Everyone yeah. should start a side hustle yeah. because it's anybody very, very... Do, right? Anybody, yeah. you don't need any yeah. huge investments. Just so get started. So I would started. say, pay what benefit about an investor being being into a side hustle because he or she is still investing. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So let's say... If you have the money, you can still start a side hustle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if you have the money, maybe you don't have any good idea, but you spot someone's business that you think this business is going to grow. You mm-hmm. can just yeah. invest into that business and you'll be cashing out. This one, you're just lying on your bed and you're paying. <laughs> you, you get it. That yeah, one is I money. think even if you don't have the money, yeah. you can you start can the side that. hustle. Because, um, I'll give you an example. I was mm-hmm. on my way to the office one day and I saw a Nokia <laughs> 3310. Okay. The old Nokia 3310. A guy had like about five of it in his... He was selling one for 30 CDs. Mm-hmm. So I just saw it and I spotted the opportunity right there. And I bought one okay. and I went to test the market in my office. So when I went, I said it's 150 CDs. They brought it down to 120 CDs. <laughs> so see, full profit. I got yeah, that 120 yeah, yeah. CDs and I came back and I bought all the five and I went back. Because this one said, I want some, I want some, I want some. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I, I made it. Yeah. yeah, I cashed out. Cashed out. <laughs> so you don't have to have money. You can just spot an opportunity and you jump on it. Definitely, and definitely. That's yes. it. Definitely. Yeah, so... I also think that anybody can start a side hustle because mm-hmm. um, somebody says something. For example, let's say um, your side hustle in, is into teaching. Yeah. The person said that um, you you are not you are not an uh, you don't teach because you are an expert, right? But then you are an expert because you are teaching. So okay. what she said that maybe some people think that they need experience before they can start. You mm-hmm. don't need the experience. Once you are doing it, you are gathering the experience. You need Definitely. to start from somewhere. Yeah. Because if you don't start, then you don't make any progress. But if right. you start, then you make the progress. The progress yeah. And you're saying that if you, don't, if you have money or mm-hmm. if you don't have money. If people don't have money, like you said, you can still start. For example, these days, there are lots of internet businesses. And all of us, we have phones. You can go on the internet and then find something to do. So, so far as you have a phone, you have internet, I believe that anybody can start something. But I think sometimes people just don't have the drive. Like, they don't have the drive to do it. They just think that, oh, this thing, people will not um, purchase or people will not um, just come around or but you just have to start it like no matter but what i think when it comes to that you have to check the market because you can't just go and bring something that you know people are not purchasing yes, yes. of you course have to, you, have, you have to analyze and see Definitely. Okay, this is going to sell because yes. if you bring something into the market and you are not interested you are you are definitely not going to make any profit and no one is going to purchase your product yes, and yes. like not to cut said, you short okay. but i think sometimes let's just be a bit daring let's mm-hmm. take the step first yeah mm-hmm. i think I think most of us, we are a bit um, skeptical when we want to start something. So. Why okay. don't you try first? Because that business you are, you are scared of um, starting could be the game changer. You don't know. You might not yeah. know. So I think you just have to try but first. I be, okay, try. Yeah, so you as you think market. of the negative side of it's not making good sales, why yeah. don't you think of the positive side too? Try, start small, and then later, can, if it works right. for yeah, you, so like, you, you, you go yeah. all in. Okay. You can be optimistic, I but know. still, you, you need to check whether the market is there. Like okay. Pablo, uh, what do you call it? Pablo's experience when yeah. he went, he bought just one, went to test it. Everyone was interested. Yeah. So he came back, came to exactly. buy more. Do you get it? So yeah. at least you can test the market, all right. But you have to check whether the market is there. If yeah. you don't have yes. the market, yeah, that's, oh, then that's true. no need. Yes. That's you true. See, yes. That's you it. definitely cannot just jump into something. You have to like Good. do your research yeah. and all yes, that you and check, as you go along. Yeah, whether the demand is there before you proceed. Very true. Yeah. Okay, so our next question, what inspired you to start a side hustle? Was it a passion project or the need for extra cash? Oh. Hey, this when I was, when right, I was, it was hunger. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. That is yeah. very true. Yeah. <laughs> it's because not the uh, passion. Which passion? It's hunger. Need. <laughs> <laughs> need for money. <laughs> need money, because you are hungry, you start something. Okay. <laughs> you are comfortable. You are not in trouble. I, I would say... When I was a student back on campus, yeah. you see, then it was need for money. Mm. Even though I was getting money from my parents yes. and even relatives, other relatives and the rest, but I still wanted more. 
you know, that boy's boy's vibe, mm-hmm. you know. You want more. See, money from your parents is never enough. It's never, never <laughs> enough. No, they never, <laughs> ever enough. depends on your parents. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yes. So, I think through that, I started something, okay. So, when I started, first, it was extra money that I wanted, okay. But as time went on, it started developing into something else. Right now, I, became, I, like, I got the passion for it. Okay, so I started with hunger. Let me see. I started because I wanted the money, because mm-hmm. I saw people selling, people buying stuff. And I went to a certain website, and something that is sold outside for like 20 cities, I could get it from there like for two cities. I was like, wow. huh? <laughs> then <laughs> right now, they are going to buy to plants. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to start. Then I'll go from room to room, advertising, selling, giddy, giddy, giddy. serious hustle. But as time went on, I realized. I was getting enough, mm-hmm. okay? So right now, it wasn't about the money any longer, but right now, I just love what I'm doing, so let me just continue doing it. Mm-hmm. So you can start with hunger, as time goes on, it will develop into passion. passion. You get it? And someone to my, for you, you for instance, I'm sure you had a passion since yeah. So yes, you see, but we that we started with hunger, somewhere along mm-hmm. the line, we, we had to stop <laughs> <laughs> you get it? <laughs> you see, exactly. but if you, had the pas- if you have the passion, why not? Like, yeah, it's, it's really nice. yeah. Benny. Yeah, so um, I think what inspired me, like you said, hunger. Me, okay. I started when I was in school. I just needed that extra cash mm-hmm. because, you know, like the money, parents would send you money, but it's not really enough because as a student, you have a lot of things to buy and you, you need to make that. You cannot go back asking them for money every time. It it's, it's can be very, you know, um, I mean, they are not even happy with it if you have yeah. to they just send you money and then you have to like go back and then ask them for money so that was the reason that i started and then also um i find this that sometimes when i see things that i like mm-hmm. i tend to like um turn it into a business idea i'm like wow i really love this people also like it so then let me start i remember my very first business i started i started selling um non-alcoholic wines from spain so um back then i was doing this um business it was called butcher it was more of like a delivery service business with my friend and um, there was this exhibition at the conference center. So I was just going to scout for packages for our business. And then I went and I see this non-alcoholic wines. And I don't take alcohol. So I'm like, oh, I tasted it. And I was like, this is really nice. A lot of people will like it. Mm-hmm. Especially um, people who don't take alcohol for religious reasons. And mm-hmm. then, um, you know, health conscious people. Mm. So I was like, wow, this this is really nice. And I believe that people will like it. So I just got the person's number and then we, you know, continued okay, from yeah, there. Yeah. So yes. um, it usually comes from things that I like and things that are useful to me that I believe will help other people. Mm-hmm. And then also they need for that extra cash to do good things because me, you know, when you're there, people always come and ask you for money and it's it's, Sometimes it's really um, painful if somebody asks you, someone is really in need, and then you cannot help that person. Yes. And then also, I mean, I'm a Christian. I have to give in church. I have to propagate the gospel. So I have to look for money. Extra cash. Yes. (laughs) Very important. To to, to link to what um, she said in terms of one of the ways to spot a side hustle or Mm -hmm. to like what you're doing is to... Is to enter a business that you think works for you. For example, she said she tasted the wine and she realizes that. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you ask yourself a question and it becomes a side hustle for you. Yeah. Because That's true. I have a side side hustle called BBAB. Um, so basically, what it is is everything. So, everything. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I asked myself that I wanted to buy something one day. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was like, so n- nobody in this country will give me this thing. <laughs> and when I get my salary, I'll pay. Mm. something yeah. like that so i was like okay why don't i just start it so we started from somewhere mm-hmm. where you literally just have to send a whatsapp message i don't even have to see your face send me a whatsapp message what do you want send a picture of it we'll get it for you mm. come for it That's at the end of the month you yeah. pay us and it really just picked up because people don't want to go through the hassle of bringing their birth certificate weighing card and everything just to get something from you so sometimes you ask yourself the question mm-hmm. if it works for you you can try it as a side hustle and okay. for all you know it would it would just blow up so that okay. links into what she said okay so now let's check out the cheat of the day
Okay. Okay. So now, how do you spot money making ideas and turn them into reality? So how do you determine mm. this idea that I'm seeing right now, or this idea that I have, Charlie? If you make a cash out to Charlie, <laughs> I think how first and foremost, you have to monitor the market trends. Definitely. Yeah. The trendy things that are going around. Mm -hmm. You know, when COVID came, I use that. I'll always use that <laughs> as an example: face, face shield face or shield. face mask. <laughs> you know, when COVID came, it was mm. unexpected. We were yeah. not expecting yeah. it. Yeah. Some of us use that as a business point. Yeah. You, whenever you call me now, I'm on the field. I'm looking for face shield to buy for a client because the mm. demand was there. Was there? That's yeah. True. So I think the market trends. <laughs> yeah. Is one Changing major market. thing. Yeah. So yeah. most of the time, you just check what is trending. What, what is trending? Is what do you think people will buy? Yeah. What do you think will give you more or extra cash? That's then you true. go for it. What yeah. everyone is doing. <laughs> So, I mean, Mina just made me smile because she said face show. Yeah. <laughs> the places I went. It, it took, it, it, you know, it puts you mm. in that danger. 200,000 face shows. Exactly. Then, they can see. <laughs> then you take cash. Yeah. 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 Spending money on transportation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's God. true. That's true. I mean, I think generally that's one of the ways to spot it. Yeah. Um, uh, a good idea. Just yeah, you know, easily have to jump on it early. Yeah, you have to jump <laughs> yeah. on it before it's too late. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's so, true. I mean, one of but the ideas, whilst you are moving, as I said earlier, once you are mm -hmm. you are moving, the ideas are coming. So you yes. can just see something. And it mostly works in a way that if you like it mm -hmm. or you really want it, there's a very high possibility that someone else wants it or also likes it. So you can yeah. turn that into... A business idea that can be a, one of the ways of spotting an easy business idea. Easy business. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so that's that's one thing we need to look at. And one for. thing is with these trendy businesses, if you don't take care, yeah. <laughs> yes, you, you know your money. That is true <laughs> because very true. You remember these face yes. shows? They got to a point when I think when they stopped wearing the nose mask. <laughs> yeah. uh, you see, Nobody we had a lot of it. business men and women <laughs> coming out to complain. No one is buying oh, from God. them. Mm -hmm. They had to import all yeah. these. So sometimes you have to check the timing of. All these things, do you yeah. get it? If your timing is wrong, Charlie, you are doomed. Mm. Yes. And then, so I think, like I mentioned already, um, sometimes when you see things, for me, when mm -hmm. I see things that I like, I mentioned mm. the wine. And mm -hmm. then, um, I think some few months ago, a colleague brought bread to the lab, or I mean, to our office, and then it really mm -hmm. tasted nice. I'm like, wow. Everybody should be eating this bread because the ones people are selling, it's, it's, it's not great. So I was okay. like, yes, it's like, oh, I can partner with her and then we can sell to people. Mm -hmm. And eventually we'll be diversifying to selling cookies and, you know, other bakery products. So sometimes look at the things that you like and then you can... Um, pursue such things uh, okay. maybe as a side hustle and then also reading when you read you get to meet see a lot of things that you can take up and there's this show on youtube that i always watch it's called cnbc make it um it's basically um people come there to like talk about their their side hustles the things they are doing and then like they're making a lot of money and you get to you can catch up you can find a lot of ideas from there and like they say, there's nothing new under the sun. You don't have to say somebody's already doing this, so I can't do it. Everybody, whatever you want to do, somebody's doing it some way. So, That's so far true. as you think it can be lucrative or you can um, really monetize it. So find something that you like to do and then read a lot the internet oh, yeah. is there. Just read. Yeah, yeah, too. Yes. Yeah, too book long. Oh. <laughs> what is no, what is it's, not it's not book long. For oh, example, please. on Twitter, you can just be true. scrolling. You see oh. something that will... We don't have time to read. I think <laughs> what he's saying is very when, true because it yeah, looks mm -hmm. like in our system now, most people don't like to read. Yeah. But to get that the extra cash... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you, to get that extra cash, I think you have to validate more on research and ideas. And also, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to leverage on your strength too. You know, you but, can do this yeah. at this point in time. You know your strength. Yeah. So, so you, know, uh -huh. you can you can also get business ideas from movies. Yes, yeah. movies. Uh, so I prefer the movies. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, <laughs> that if you want your site hustle to end up in the I don't know wherever you Please start do, from, yeah, not, then because you, you have to read. If you really okay. want your site hustle, yes. David, you, you have, have to research, research to, and no, read. I, 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 I can I don't fully agree with that. There's there's, really? the, there's really? two types of probably side hustles that yeah. I see. Yes. There's the 
as they said, book long type of side hustle, which Thank is you. You, and, you and Mina, <laughs> kind of side hustle. And then there's street okay. side hustle. Thank you. Like no, no, some, you I you don't see agree with you. You jump on it and you move. You move. Okay. That's I don't agree with you. Maybe I shouldn't call it reading. I should call it learning, right? No, it's too book long. If you say learning, reading, it's too book long. There are millionaires amongst us. Yes. They didn't go and read anything. Not, they saw, they saw an they opportunity. They jumped on it. I know, it. but what That's worked it. for them might not work for you. There's a saying that if yeah. you fail to plan, mm -hmm. or if you yeah, if you fail to plan, you mm -hmm. plan to fail. Yeah. Planning I is think different from reading. planning I is very plan. very <laughs> essential. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. so before uh -huh. you even go for it, the research is very important. You know, read Definitely. more about it. What yes. are you going in for? Mm -hmm. Is this something that is going to end you more or not? Is this something very, very essential? If oh, not, you know what you are doing. Uh, let me give if, you an example. Okay. One of my friends, um, you know the smart watches? Yeah. One of my friends did research the book long way on. <laughs> Will it work? When I bring it in because it's cheaper. Or people mm. prefer the eye watches or will it work? Mm -hmm. Re research shows that it won't work because mm. people don't want those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Took the step, brought it in, and it's selling like You know, research now. is not always about you searching something on the internet mm -hmm. sometimes research comes in a way of a survey yeah. you go around questionnaires ask what do you people, do top ask top people because i believe that whatever idea you are yet to implement someone yeah. has already done it yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's you ask true. questions mm -hmm. around you know that's okay. also a way of researching yeah, yeah. yeah. i so, like customer review a lot mm -hmm. a vendor could see me and be like yeah we could then you know in a day, I work Monday to Saturday. Easy Grab works Monday to Saturday. Mm -hmm. And if you come to my Instagram page, my Instagram story, my WhatsApp story, you see customer review for today's packages we've delivered. Like 10. That is what brings me more clients. Mm -hmm. They see their reviews and they are moved to also come and patronize. Yeah. So okay. ask questions around. Mm -hmm. If you, the client, you don't bring me review, I'll come to your DM. Hi, ma. How was it? How was the package today? Did yeah. you love it? You see it's coming. Yeah. So sometimes mm -hmm. research comes in a form of questionnaire, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So yeah, when okay. I talk about reading, it's not necessarily just going to sit down and then <laughs> She's reading. Still wants to it. Yes, <laughs> yes, because <laughs> I believe that no, to really I have a successful you know. business, <laughs> right? Yeah. At a point you have to know things mm -hmm. before you can make progress. Else your business will stall. It's you most, get it. So most. getting to know things is all about learning. It's all like okay. Like conventional so, reading. Right. See, one of yeah. the one of the I, I won't mention the name, but one of the biggest jewelry shops that we have in Ghana mm -hmm. now, currently, mm. is owned by somebody that I know, mm. and that was street hustle. Yeah, or street, yeah. street. But package <laughs> because streets. The Before, person just. I'm sure they've changed. They've rebranded. So, they went to read somewhere. Yeah. No, they didn't. So, hey. yeah. <laughs> you are, so you're saying? Why did uh, they start selling? I don't believe that. Things. So <laughs> yeah. He sees something on uh, David's hand. You like? He sees that David likes this kind of things. He goes. He brings it for you. He does this, and that's the same thing they're still doing now. And it's so. I'm not saying learning or reading is a bad mm. thing, but what I'm saying yeah. is that for those out you there, will need it. do you will what need it. works for you. Yeah. Research. Might work for somebody. Research might not work. Okay. Feedback might work for somebody. Might not work for somebody. Reading might understand? work for someone. Because as uh, Mina someone. said, as Mina said, you can bring re, um, something <laughs> to her and say, "Oh, do you? Might you like this?" She'll fill the forms and everything. I'll have a conversation with her. She'll mm -hmm. probably say no, but I'll bring it. She'll see it. She'll buy it. She'll buy yes. it. So That's I'm just it. saying that we, you have to just weigh what works work well for yeah. you, for you well, depending on your level okay. of even understanding or yes and i think that also depends on what you're doing for example i think mm -hmm. before we came i asked some of the things that you're doing and you mentioned you have um catfish that you do read right because if you don't read how do you know how to manage them i've managed them for a long time i don't even know anything about them you don't know anything <laughs> about them wow then you are running with luck <laughs> okay. okay anyway maybe we can go ahead yeah, but yeah, sure. i definitely believe that you need to read yeah. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, our next question. So, that, so far, we've spoken about um, why we need to be interested and then ways to find side hustles and all that. So, I think another question that I would like us to talk about is how we, you know, juggle our side hustles with the jobs we do or if you're in school how you do it yeah. yeah okay so i think we can't look at that without considering effective time management yeah mm -hmm. it's very important how you draw your schedule in a day a month a week 
what would you do that will align with the job you are doing? If it's a side hustle or a main hustle, yeah. you know, time management is very, very important time yeah. management. in our daily lives. So I hear people be like, okay, I, I woke up today and the first thing I have to do in the morning is probably pray, do this, do that, mm -hmm. do that. So mm -hmm. if anything, an emergency, an emergency should chip into mm -hmm. the air, uh, daily activity, yeah. you see that it affects them mm -hmm. directly or indirectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so okay. time management is very yeah. important. important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's one word for me, uh, which is sort of linked to Minas, uh, which is time management. To me, it's discipline. Mm -hmm. You you need to be able to discipline yourself yeah. to because yeah. if you, you if you do you have do. a nine to five and you do have a side hustle, mm -hmm. you you need to plan, manage in a way and be disciplined in a way that one doesn't eat into the other. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you find people who have regular jobs, maybe nine to fives, and then they are using maybe most of that time to actually build their side hustle. Mm -hmm. Forgetting that that nine to five is also making you, as you said, 5K and 10K. People are really making money it's from very that. Important. <laughs> so that's also making you money, notwithstanding. Yeah. Yeah. So your side hustle is also making you something. So discipline mm -hmm. really um, counts in there yeah. for you to be able to, to be successful in a a side hustle yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes we, I think we consider the end game for us too. Okay. So like she said, someone is earning 5K, the person's end goal is to earn 10K a month. How that? How how can I get there? Do you get? So do I budge into HR office and say, hey, increase my salary? Otherwise, I'm on. I'm going. <laughs> do you get <laughs> yeah. it? Or I find a side hustle and just do it just to push me up there to where mm. I want to get to. So when you consider discipline, Time management. Mm -hmm. Then maybe we come to the we look at the end game, the long term plan for ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that one too can also help direct us to also achieve that goal, or let's say to also manage the business that we want to start. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think <coughs> like the important thing is what everybody has mentioned, like time management, because you definitely have to manage your time. And talking about it's not just you know one thing is that. Mm -hmm. People have a lot of things to do, right? But then they also want to be like everyone. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to really do well in school, yeah. you are studying so hard, you can't be partying when you have to be reading your books. That's the same thing. So if mm -hmm. you really want to do a side hustle, it means that you the amount of time that maybe your friends who have nothing to do apart from maybe their main job or their school, you can't have that same free time. They're going out mm. maybe around the, um, 5 to 6, they're out. 5 to 12, they're out. You can't do that. Yeah. You need to, like um, like you said, discipline yourself. Oh, I have the urge to go out, but I need to package this order, so I'm not going to go out. You discipline yourself mm -hmm. to um, follow that. And there are some I mean, tools that I use. Um, Everybody has a phone. There's Google Calendar. You can use that to manage your time. Yeah, um, the other productivity tools, there's Trello, there is Notion. You can use all that to like manage your time. <laughs> Schedule. <laughs> yes. oh, I'm just and surprised. I, and I'll see why she wants us to read. <laughs> yeah, he gets yes. it. He gets it. And I was like, hey, shall you know all these? <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. So I read this book. You want, you want okay. The, you want the guys I using Trello. <laughs> I don't know if it, tell us you everything. You're against reading. Tell us everything. <laughs> well, against the bad. Okay. So let's yes. look at so the I think last question. The last, I want okay. to add something. Right. Yeah, I think prioritization too is very key. Yeah. Okay. If you are a student and you know you have um, a, a business running while you are on campus, you mm -hmm. just have to draw a, a schedule that is a bit flexible. Mm -hmm. You still have time to attend to your academic activities while you do your side yeah. hustles. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at the last question. Okay. Thank you. So let's discuss um, the mistakes or setbacks we've encountered so far and how we're able to handle it. Who would mm. like to share his or hers? Mm. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, you are the business one. So. I started business. I started okay. doing my own business at the age of eight. Wow. Hey. Yes, because I come from a home where we don't have we don't mm. have much. Okay. So my mom, and we are all girls, so my mom put in that uh, working activity in us. You know, we grew up, everyone has to start a business of their own. 
Bit when I was in primary, JHS, SHS, through to uni, I mm. always sold something whilst in school, and that kept me moving. But mm. if I want to talk about some challenges I have had in the past or with Easy Grab GH, one has to do with the supply chain. Okay. Sometimes, mm. and also my logistics. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Would you Would you like to share? Yeah. So okay. I think um, one thing is one thing for me was like not having a vision for some of the businesses I have done, okay. um, and that has really affected the way I approach the business. Because if I had a vision, then I would be persistent to see to it that I'm achieving that vision. Okay. So I would encourage everybody if you are starting a side hustle, you need to have a plan, have a vision. I mean, like Habakkuk says that write the vision and then make it plain. So you need to write it down. And then <laughs> when you write it down, and now you can plan that I really want to get here. Okay. So that when you have setbacks, you know that I want to get here. So you persist. And yeah. I know that if you persist, you will mm -hmm. achieve it. Right. So okay, so we are going to end today's session with a tank twister challenge. <laughs> so um, so we are all going to try it. Okay. okay. So what we have today is... The service saver swiftly saves substantial sums. Hey. <laughs> Wait, do I have a price? I know. If I, mean, I say it correctly, is there a price for me? Madam, please say it. <laughs> Isn't a tank twister supposed to go fast? Oh, you don't worry. It easy. Yeah. No. I think you should take it again. <laughs> no, you yes, I agree. Go. I think you should take it again. Yeah. All right, so the service saver swiftly saves substantial sums. I think I was it fast enough. Swiftly. That's yeah. okay. the problem. So, Benis. <laughs> okay. Huh. The service save us, we believe, save substantial sounds. <laughs> service save us, we believe, save substantial sounds. <laughs> hey, okay. We'll give it to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. <clears throat> the service save us, we believe, save substantial sounds. Okay. All right, sure. Okay, so you can also try it and send us a video. So, till we come your way again, Enterprise Trustees, your advantage. Thank you.